Clark in a fifth set like that was just unbelievable. And still the last 10 points to me are kind of a blur, but it just goes to show in a fifth set match, you can never think that you have it. And our girls came out, they came out aggressive, they came out confident, even being down 10 to three, 11 to four, they played Arkansas Tech Volleyball, they played the way we've been playing all year, and that is why we're going to the NCAA Tournament. It's a hard matchup for us because they are such a good blocking team. Um, they're a good blocking team and they're a good serving team. And, um, you know, they started blocking us in the second, third, and fourth, and fifth set, and our offense lost its confidence. Um, called a timeout, and after that timeout, I just said, keep swinging, our, our, our players will be behind you covering. Um, we need to anticipate better. We need to talk out a system better. Um, and we cannot, they had two four point runs on us. Okay, two four point runs. We have got to do a better job of siding out and getting out of serve receive, but we've got to have a good pass first. So we go back there in, that, in the third set, focus on the pass. They cannot stop our offense, as evident by the first set, if we pass and serve receive. You, you would not believe she was a freshman. She was unbelievable. She's all over the place. Um, you know, Sarah, Sierra Nicewanger, um, although our passing wasn't there, she was still able to run our offense. Um, and, you know, just the, the, the overall um, ability for my team to recover after being down was very impressive. I want to thank all the fans for coming. We had great support from the community. We had great support from, um, you know, some of the other coaches were here. Our softball team was here. Um, and it really, really helps for us to have that fan support here and we hear them you know, behind the bench cheering for us. And that really helped us pull through in that fifth set.